this autofocus actually works. Alright guys, excuse the attire, but in this video I'll be completely vlogging the whole video with my one and only Nikon Z30, but before I actually walk you through a story of what I'm going to talk to you about, you got to get the right vlogging settings on this camera first. So uh, yeah, I'm going to show you on that. Alright, so when it comes to uh, vlogging, I would assume your normal content creator would not have the manual settings like ISO, aperture, and all that stuff. So I'm going to set everything to auto because I'm going to assume I am a beginner content creator. So all I'm going to do is change my dial right here to auto. Ignore this because I don't have a lens on it yet. And then what I'm going to do is you can go to photo auto and this is going to be video auto. And then I'm going to hit menu and I'm going to change a couple things. Go into uh, microphone sensitivity. I don't know if it's the actual microphone that's more sensitive or less sensitive. But when I plug, I've been using the Rode Video Micro on this as well as, you know, my Pixie mini tripod. Talk about that later. All links are in the description below. But I'm going to hit manual and I think I'm going to put it at a 13. So I'm going to be testing it with no microphone and then with the microphone. And then I'm going to hit OK. All the settings are as is. And then I'm also going to double check my uh, picture profile here. So for my vlogging setup, I've been using my good old Manfrotto Pixie, right? The mini tripod that I still have. Highly recommend it. I'll be holding this. For audio source, I'll be testing it with mic and no mic. But this one is the Rode Video Micro. Still one of my favorite shotgun microphones. No battery required. And, of course, Nikon Z30. And I'll be using the kit lens, which I'm using right now on my Nikon Z50. Nikon Z30. I don't have an ND filter because uh, I want to keep it legit. Not everyone has an ND filter. And everything is on auto. So this is what it sounds like with the Rode Video Micro. I'm going to take it off in a bit and see how it sounds. But I wanted to talk about, you know, content creation and how content creators need to talk about things like authenticity. Need to talk about things like you can't talk about the one thing over and over again, right? If it's not really what you're passionate about. Anyways, I'm gonna get some gas. But um, every time I'm at the gas station, I do have an app that I don't have to like, it's like contactless, but it's always hella glitchy. I don't know where y'all from, but right now gas is 191.9 per liter. I don't know how much that is in gallons. She'll need the bike. Oh, this whole vlogging thing is exhausting. Do some more uh, vlogging tests to see if it's like tracking my eye. One thing I noticed about the Nikon Z30 off the bat is once I flip it to like selfie mode, I can't control the dials in terms of um, if I did want it to go like manual. And then uh, the audio or all of the display options are gone and once I flip it back there it comes back I'm like why is that and the minute that I turn it there's like a one second delay where the screen turns black for a second so uh, I just tripped on this what the hell so right now at an all-time high in terms of uh, social anxiety I am recording myself and I want to see how this autofocus actually works and uh, does it actually detract and get other people's faces, or does it actually track on me? Right now I'm using the 16 to 50, so this is the overall focal length. Twist and turn. Uh, right there.
one thing I noticed about like public vlogging with my setup, it gets a lot of stares and I'm like, I don't know if it's my big furry ball on top or it's just the way, you know, vlogging still isn't a thing, you know. But uh, yeah, man, I'm risking my own social awkwardness anxiety for content, you know, everything for content. some uh, low light test the setting itself is on uh, 1 over 30 3.5 and 10,000 ISO but um, the square is still on my eye I still have yet to do a running test I'm gonna do a running test in low light maybe if I didn't then I kind of gave up in editing but vlogging is exhausting man people look at you weird and like it's cold right now and I totally forgot my storyline where I'm like, just be a creator. Whoever's stopping you, just do it. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. Okay, so right now, I have the video micro on top. I unplugged it. So this is what it sounds like with just using my Z30 audio right here. With the two microphones on the side. This is what it sounds like. But now I'm going to plug it in. There you go. Here is the audio with Nikon Z. 30 and my name is Peter. So yeah, that's my vlog guys. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, make a Somewhat of a coherent vlog, but if you were to vlog with this, I think it's you know, it's good. It's very portable Okay, this is me with sport mode Turned on And that, guys, was my attempt at being a YouTube vlogger. I am not a Casey Neistat. And that, trust me, once you do it, it's a lot more work than you initially think. You have to plan the shots. You have to know exactly what you're going to say. And, uh, yeah, man, I hope you guys were able to see exactly. I am still recording with the, uh -oh, the Nikon Z30. Everything is on auto because when you're a vlogger, you don't really have time to constantly change the aperture, the shutter speed or whatever, or you're just a complete beginner. Everything is auto, but so far, it feels like it's detecting my face completely fine. There were some issues, like not really surprising when it comes to uh, autofocus in low light situations, but for the most part, IAF works fine. And uh, the reason, another reason why I picked up the Nikon Z30 is it is very travel friendly. If I just wanted to like put it, this on a desk and start doing a talking head video, completely fine. I have a mic. And the only thing, because I use the video micro, I got a lot of stairs, <laughs> a big little puffy ball on it. But I'm like, man, that's vlog life. And I've been thinking about getting like a Insta X or whatever, like a super discreet one for like more walking and talking, but you know, whatever. That's the vlog shot, everything is, this is shot on a complete standard picture profile. I'm not gonna do any color grading to this and you guys let me know. What do you guys think of the quality? Shot this in 4K and would you consider this one of the most slept on vlog cameras that you can actually consider? This is what it would look like if you were to be an expiring YouTube vlogger, I'm not one. That is just hard, man. If you watched this far, subscribe, you know, here for more content. And like I said in my other videos, it's like I'm trying to be more authentically me. And how do I make content where it's like people want to watch, but also it's I'm giving you value. You're learning something from me. And that's something I'm figuring out on both my channels, right? Subscribe to me. Follow my Instagrams. Everything is in the description below. My name is Peter. And uh, who knows what's the next video to come, but we all start with nothing. But you can always create something. Cheers, guys.